Hi, my name is Chris Bertrand, and I'm with the US Creator Team here at Zoho Corporation. Uh, today, I'm gonna be walking you through a really cool use case. To give you background, the use case that was presented to us was for a fleet mechanics garage where basically they were servicing vehicles for a number of different companies. And the uh, customer that approached us wanted to do a better job of being able to capture the different consumables that they used within the garage. So think about brake rotors, pads, uh, the different fluids, um, all of those different consumables needed to be captured effectively and efficiently by the mechanics so that when they produce the invoice at the end of the month, they had a correct accounting of all of the different uh, you know, pieces that had been used for that account. Uh, the way that they had been doing it in the past was through a spreadsheet. It was very hard for them to aggregate that information. Uh, we had put together a POC for them utilizing just a form. And in this walkthrough, I want to show you the use case as was presented to them originally in the form, as well as uh, the one that I put together utilizing both pages and the workflows in a much more efficient manner to streamline uh, the process and make it a lot more easy for the customer and their employees to adopt our system. So we will go through a walkthrough of seeing both the original build that we provided to the customer as well as the one that was optimized for our platform. But first, let me pull up the literal customer build, as I call it. Uh, and this was actually built within a form uh, mechanism. So as customers give us, you know, spreadsheets, things like that, our initial sort of way that we build applications is to utilize forms. So here we have the employee dropdown. We choose whichever employee. We choose the client. We choose the project. And then, as you can see, we have checkboxes for the different types of consumables. When we click on one of these checkboxes, we're actually activating a workflow that shows us a uh, subform inside of the form for a list of all of the different motor oils in this case. So I can go in, I can choose how many I used, and then I could submit the form and create a record of the amount that I used. Now, this was perfectly fine in execution to start with, but there were a few different things that were gonna cause the application to be much more bulky than it should be. Um, subforms, when they are uh, submitted, actually create duplicate records of the different consumables and uh, will cause issues both when needing to edit as well as um, when uh, trying to aggregate the data as you will have more lines included in it than you need. The other thing that was too over complex in this solution was the workflows being used. We actually had an individual one for each one of the consumables that we were pulling together. So when I go into the actual workflows, uh, we have you know, auto-populate for the different categories. This meant that if they added a new category, they actually had to repeat the different workflows and build those from scratch or you know, copy and paste and change the different uh, variables instead of making it more dynamic. So let me now go from this original version to the one that I built. So let me go back to solutions. I'm gonna pull up the enhanced version and I'm gonna pull that up. Now in the enhanced version, it's gonna feel very similar to what we had before, but by utilizing pages, it looks much more clean, much more composed. 
So I can do the same thing I did in the original demo, start a new um, consumables list. I'll grab a client, I'll grab a project, I hit submit, and now it creates that project for me. You can see I have a zero for the total consumables cost, but I also have um, the different buttons for the different types of consumables that I need. So I'm gonna click on motor oil again. Here, the subform pops up as a pop-up form instead of as a subform within a parent form. I put in the number that I used, I hit return, and now the page actually loads with the information around the consumable that I've used. So my total consumables cost has gone up to $45. Uh, you can see here the motor oil that I recorded has been added to the list. Uh, if I need to update, I can actually click the update button and change the number that I used for motor oil directly from that dashboard. Uh, I also can click on one of the other consumables, put in additional amounts, and that is gonna pull that information in and just continue to build the, cust uh, the consumables um, report for this company, for this project. And looking at the back end, so when I go to the workflows, I actually have reduced the eight separate uh, workflows for the categories to just one that uses the category that's been chosen by the button to populate the subform. So not only have I made the form more efficient by using pages and easier to adopt for the customers, uh, I've also reduced and uh, made the workflows more efficient so that when I add a new category to the solution, I actually don't have to rebuild any of the structure of the application to ensure that it's being included. Um, so this is just one of the many ways that you can utilize the features to really change the way that the application is being used and the way that the customers and their employees interact with the form. Thank you.